girls welcome back to my channel I am so happy that you are back for another video today we're going to be doing a one branded tutorial I did ask my snapchat family what brand they would like to see and most of the votes were for Tarte Cosmetics so that brings us here I'm going to be using some of my all-time favorite Tarte Cosmetics products as well as some new stuff that they recently just launched if you come across any questions or comments concerns something you'd like to tell me make sure to leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can with the most information possible. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more of these one branded tutorials, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Starting right off, I'm going to be taking the Brighter Days Moisturizer and I'm just going to be applying this all over my skin making sure that I work it in so that I am ready to go for my primer for primer I'm going to be using one of my all-time favorites the clean slate timeless smoothing primer and I'm going to be applying this where I feel like I have more pores and a little tip for you guys I also like running this primer on my cheekbones so that my highlight looks smooth as book. We can't forget about the lips. I'm going to be moisturizing my lips using some maracuja oil and I'm just going to be taking this, applying it onto my lips, but also blending it around so that if there's any like dryness and stuff, it gets moisturized and it won't be peeking through the foundation. Now this is a new product from Tarte that I am loving, Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops and of course I'm just going to be applying this and focusing it on my high points of my face. For foundation you guys know that I usually use two other ones if you have not seen my spring foundation routine I will link it up here for you guys so you guys can go ahead and check that out but in this video I'm going to be using the new clay stick foundation in the shade light medium neutral and i am going to be applying this pretty heavy because i want more of a full coverage i'm going to be taking the brush that is made for this foundation and i'm just going to be spritzing it with the new setting spray from tarte and just blending it all in For concealer, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite concealer, not just my all-time favorite Tarte product, but just favorite concealer ever. I'm going to be taking Shape Tape in the shade Light, and I'm just going to be applying this where I normally highlight, and I'm also using it to conceal my under eyes. Like always, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with a damp blending sponge, and yeah, let's go ahead and move on. This is a new product as well. It is the Clay Play Palette and it honestly has anything you guys would need if you're more of like a neutrals person. I'm going to be picking up Desert which is the middle shade and I'm going to be taking that as my contour color. I'm going to be applying it on my jawline, my cheekbones, my forehead, just the normal places that I regularly contour. I feel like out of the three shades, Desert is the perfect shade for me. It does come with Terracotta, Desert in the middle, and Timber, which is a deeper shade for my deeper beauties out there. Really nice contour powder. For brows, I'm going to be taking an all-time favorite from Tarte Cosmetics, and that is their Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. I'm going to be taking the shade Medium Brown and just filling in my brows. I do have a brow tutorial already on my channel if you guys would like an updated brow routine give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below and i would be very happy to film that for you guys okay so now for my eyes it's going to be very simple i'm going to be picking up journey from the clay play palette and i'm just going to be intensifying my crease as well as my lower lash line and i am also going to be taking soft style and applying that onto the lid. Now to look more awake, I'm going to be taking Fake Away Liner and I'm going to be applying this to my waterline. 
Adding a new to your waterline makes you look more awake, so the name fits Fake Awake. Perfect, because it does what it says. For eyeliner, I'm going to be taking a trustworthy liner of mine, which is the TARDIS double-ended eyeliner, and I'm just going to be adding some wings. You guys, this liner just glides on so smooth, and the other end of the eyeliner is a crayon, and it works amazing as well. This was probably the first eyeliner from Tarte that I like completely fell in love with. So, yeah. Now taking the Tardis Lash Paint Mascara, this was my go-to for months and months. I'm just going to be coating my eyelashes, getting ready for some falsies. Now for falsies, I'm going to be taking the Style Goddess. They are cruelty-free eyelashes, and I'm just going to be popping these on. They sit really nicely on my eyes. I cut them at the perfect length. So it honestly felt like I had nothing on. Yes, girl. <laughs> Work those eyelashes. Now going back into my brows, I'm going to be taking the gel side of the Arch Architect. I'm going to be picking up the gel side of this product and just coating my eyebrow hair so that they stay in place. To add a sparkle, I'm going to be taking the Eye Jewels in the shade Gold. Well, it's not called Gold, but I'm taking the Gold shade. And I'm just going to be applying this to the inner corner of my eye and then just dabbing it out with my finger, making sure that I get none in my eye because glitter in your eye would not be good. But honestly, I just went from like blah to glam as fuck adding this touch. So tip for you guys. I'm going to be taking the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Highlighter Palette and I'm just going to be applying this to the high points of my face. Love it. Do you guys see how intense that is? Yeah, it looks so natural on the skin. Like I know you guys probably like you're crazy, but it does. <laughs> I'm going to just spritz my face and set it all in place with the Ready Set Radiance Skin Mist. This stuff is wow. Like the smell is amazing. It is honestly one of my favorite setting sprays because of the smell. For lips, I'm going to finish it off using the, the lip paint in the shade Salty, if I'm not mistaken. I put the lipstick away before I could check, but I just went back and I think it's Salty. <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, so that completes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So for today's giveaway, all I would like you guys to do is to like the video, you must be subscribed, and leave me a comment down below telling me what brand you would like to see me do next for like these dedicated one brand tutorials. And in that comment, I would like you to add your Instagram name. Okay, so I'm going to be giving away three products. One of them will be the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. Another winner will be receiving the Lights Camera Lashes Eyeliner. And the last person will be receiving a lip sculptor. And it comes with a gloss and a lipstick in the shade Voltage. Okay, dolls, that's it for today. I love you. Besitos.